Welcome to ES Planetary News. I'm Lisa Renee, your Ascension Guide. Clarifying Gender Principles Dear Ascending Family, From the Guardian Perspective, Spiritual Ascension comprises the science of spirit, encompassing the entire quantum mechanics of how spirit and matter travel throughout time and space. At certain levels of frequency conjunction within the spiral of time, access to higher blueprints that create new energy templates is made possible. The planet has reached that axis in time where the gender principle of creation in this world will be tested for energetic integrity on every level it exists. As we begin a new cycle, there are new crystal star hosted energy blueprints that redefine gender centers and their energetic positions in the instruction set of the grid work on our planet. Essentially, this is a planetary body Merkaba shift between the counter-rotating spirals of the masculine and feminine energies. What this means is that everything having to do with masculine and feminine principles of energy on this planet are undergoing some kind of transformation at the blueprint level now. These new energy templates exist in the in-between spaces known as the unmanifest fields. When there are changes in the unmanifest field, it will eventually manifest when connected to a consciousness, either an individual or group level, that resonates with the frequency and content of that new blueprint. If the individual or group consciousness, such as collective humanity, does not resonate or does not recognize that energetic blueprint, it will remain in the unmanifest field as dormant. This means it is not being accessed or activated into physical manifestation. This is one reason ascension knowledge is hidden, and there is a direct agenda to dumb down humans through mind control ego filters. If we do not know about the true nature of our spiritual consciousness, our ego ignorance will block us from that potential experience. This happens all the time on planet with a controlled suppression of new technologies and scientific discoveries. This is the principal reason to reprogram our belief systems to allow for unlimited patterns of integrative thought. If we remain open to receive anything that is in alignment to our highest expression with God's source, we are allowing unimaginable ways that spirit may manifest blessings into our reality. Clarifying Gender Issues Now that this is becoming available in the planetary consciousness field, it will have a direct impact to transform the embodiment of the masculine and feminine energies. Primarily, this will be a time of which all gender issues will be explored, discovered, and redefined to energetically transform into clarity of truth that is entirely new on our planet. This will greatly impact all relationships with a focus on partnerships, marriages, and other unions. On this journey of deep discovery for humankind, learning how to become energetically balanced males and females 
we stand at an evolutionary precipice which will bring to the surface all hidden thoughts and behaviors. We must look at our history, our social memes, and recognize what has happened to shape our culture as a race of men and women. As we regain the sense of what it means to live in true humanity, that which is united as men and women, we will be pushed to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly. We cannot be in denial of deceptions held up around us without suffering great consequences. As humanity biologically evolves through the spiritual ascension process, there is the alchemical process of synthesizing the pairs of opposing forces within the aura or spiritual energetic bodies. As we come into exposure with these frequencies, they activate our spiritual progress, and we will naturally attract experiences, such as other people and circumstances that are designed to help us further spiritually develop. Most of these types of spiritually based experiences or relationships will push to the surface energetic imbalances such as fears or unresolved pain that may exist in the mental or emotional body. This is the only way we can become aware of our inner imbalance, especially gender principle imbalances. These issues must surface in our awareness so that we can recognize them in order to take responsibility for them. In making new choices, we can regain our energetic balance that is aligned to our true core essence. If we do not understand the context of our experience or our relationships as a purposed evolutionary journey, we can become stuck on obsolete codependent patterns or mired in looping painful issues. The experience to surface energetic imbalances is designed by the higher spiritual intelligence and not ego preferences. This means that until the ego program is neutralized, the person's ascension pathway will be littered with suffering through mental confusion and dark manipulation. This is why ascension context coupled with negative ego clearing is highly suggested in order to experience the easiest and most harmonious progress throughout one's spiritual journey. This awareness is important to apply in all relationship settings by building the context that the person appearing in your life right now is there by either divine design or ego or dark manipulation. In these next weeks, if one is not clear of the current personal relationship design, one will be given that clarity and then the responsibility to make the required changes that further spiritual development. Relationships are for spiritual development. In ascension context, the synthesizing of the pairs of energetic opposite into unity is also referred to as polarity integration energetic synthesis, or spiritual marriage. This also has the exact same meaning when applied to gender unification, which is the energetic balance between the masculine principle and the feminine principle. To biologically evolve spiritually, the energetic balance between the masculine and feminine energies within the self must be unified. 
Thus, every relationship we have is designed for spiritual development. And especially now, at the time of ascension, humanity is extremely impacted by the changes that have occurred to the male and female dynamic as it connects to our own personal growth. Most people are unaware that many relationships on the planet today are directly attracted by the spirit self in order to resolve past ancestral patterns, clear blockages, and integrate forces of polarity. All relationships are directly designed for personal growth and spiritual expansion. At this time, relationships will collapse or destruct from the imbalances which apply pressures from ego needs, desires, or expectations. Without this evolutionary context towards relationships, one may be left confused and potentially manipulated by personal pain. That pain is manipulated by dark forces that keep fear as the primary wound, which is used to keep the person disempowered in destructive relationship settings. In these new energies, many destructive relationships based on deception that the dark force has used to obstruct further spiritual expansion in one or both parties will terminate. Embrace these changes if they occur as they are divine interventions to protect your heart and soul to unite with your true spiritual purpose. This action is sourced in spiritual freedom. Significant Impact to All Relationships The same process of polarity integration is transpiring now in the blueprint of the planetary logos, which is the planetary brain. This changes the collective brain configuration, thus potentially shifts the thought forms in those human beings that are open to receive those new instruction sets and new frequencies. As a result, this new cycle begins intense, rapid, and spontaneous changes that significantly impact the energetic balance or energetic schism existing between the male and female principle. This impact will be thematic for a long time that will catalyze momentous transformation in all things having to do with gender, the male and female roles as defined through archetypes, marriage, relationships, intimates, partnerships, friendships, and even family and group dynamics. Many of us will be undergoing deep transformations, exploration, and discovery in all permutations of relating in the world based on our gender, as a man or as a woman, or as both androgynous. True spiritual marriage is a deep alchemical process of spiritual ascension and therefore is a part of understanding the necessity of polarity integration between the gender principles. Without polarity integration, there cannot be biological spiritual evolution or its byproduct, true spiritual marriage which is the energetic unification between the gender principles. Energetic polarity is the gender principle of creation. All things exist within the gender principle of creation, the natural law of polarity, which is also referred to as the pairs of opposite. 
One will notice the same repeated pattern in absolutely every energetic force or form in matter. Every person, place, or thing will have an energetic polarity that is either balanced or weighted in one form of energetic polarity or its opposite. This is represented also within our gender bodies, which expresses as a polarity in matter form, whether you're a male or female. While our physical body exists in one polarity form in matter, our internal energies exist at both male and female principle. Our right side is electric and works as a transmitter, which is the active force principle of the masculine gender. Our left side is magnetic and works as a receiver, which is the passive force principle of the female gender. Our male electron is positively charged, which interacts with the female proton, which is negatively charged. These two forces together create the ranges of electromagnetism that we experience on the planet. To be balanced, harmonized, and peaceful within oneself, one must acknowledge the inner polarity and acknowledge the value and necessity of both gender principles in order to truly know thyself. Our life experiences show us the lessons for our consciousness to learn to bring balance to our inner polarities so that we may achieve sacred marriage and spiritual union with our internal spirit. If we become wounded in our male or wounded in our female, we may choose to exist in one predominant polarity of which we then act out into the world. These gender energetic imbalances lead to pain, suffering, and the eventual destruction of the self. To deny that polarity exists is to deny universal mechanics and the organic natural laws of creation. To unify polarity is to come into balance and into unity between the pairs of opposite. As we bring balance to the inner polarities, we exude that balance into the world. We become a harmonizing and healing influence with everything around us. We exude peace and contentment as we feel our sense of purpose being fulfilled. Our sense of connection and life purpose is radiated throughout all living things as we live within the synchronicity of our divine alignment with spirit. This is achieved through the energetic synthesis of these inner polarities brought into unity and therefore balance. Every being is ultimately designed to accomplish this with their consciousness and is fully capable to achieve this return to balance in order to experience connection with all things. At this time, the inner and outer energetic balance will be supported by those who seek it with much greater ease on our planet. The Wound of Soul Abuse in Relationships Consciousness is energetic intelligence, which can be both undifferentiated units of qualities of energy or arranged in specific blueprints that direct or influence matter forms. What is contained in the blueprint will govern the form, govern the body, and govern the thought forms to direct the intelligence and the energies associated with that blueprint. This extends to all gender principles of which are influential in all ways human beings believe is the nature of reality 
and the nature of male and female relationships. Those relationships have been defined by the negative alien influences of thought forms and belief systems, their identity archetypes, and how these energies are directed and by whom they are directed. These anti-life energies have been purposely distorting through patriarchal domination mind control, which has severely damaged the natural balance that exists between the male and female principle. This has emotionally devastated and spiritually stunted all human beings to some extent. Some of the most traumatizing events are those painful memories from distortions existing between men and women, being forced to abuse each other over and over. These gender principle distortions have been used to propagate some of the deepest levels of spiritual abuse, sexual misery, and personal torture that could occur to a race of beings. Many people feel this pain as soul-crushing, and there are reasons for that, which is warranted from the cellular memories of the hidden human histories. True spiritual marriage, as a part of the natural biological spiritual ascension, was stolen from humanity through the alien invasion. And the pain of that theft and its emotional abuse has damaged many people's hearts. The heart damage, both physical and energetic, has blocked the soul's center of communication with the entire body. For this reason, there is an unconscious terror in accessing the heart center because the soul wound is so painful for so many on the earth. With this clarity, it would make perfect sense that in order to change the body, in order to change and heal the heart, one must first change or heal the energetic blueprint and or the spiritual plan. When we become aware of painful distortions, we have the power through applied consciousness to change our energetic blueprint. This example is well understood in the field of general construction. To add another bedroom, put recessed lighting in a kitchen, to rewire the electrical outlets, one would hire a construction crew to draw up the plans and then remodel the existing home structure to reflect those plans. If the plans are drawn up shoddy, if the workers are careless about the quality of their work, or the supervisor is without the knowledge to build to the specification in the plan's design, the final result of the new construction can be disastrous. Humanity has experienced the same disastrous result to their home planet. By following the energetic blueprint put in place by the alien controllers. This planet is our home, and it's guided by alien sociopaths using an energetic blueprint designed to harm and enslave the human race through the very behaviors that inflict soul damage and heart abuse. In order to change the structure, we have to first recognize the alien blueprint and how the controllers capitalize on the collective fear of humanity in order to keep it in place. When we can recognize our fear programs, we can refuse its control over our personal sovereignty as eternal soul beings. This gives us the personal power to replace the alien blueprint with a new, healthy, balanced, life-affirming, 
and humanitarian plan for our individual selves, our relationships, our families, children, communities, and eventually the entire planet. Achieving Inner Balance to Spiritual Marriage This construction crew example works in the exact same way for every part of our personal multidimensional energy bodies. There are plans for each body that govern exactly how that body functions at all levels, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. If one is willing to become aware of these bodies, one can increase the health of the bodies to reconnect to higher levels in order to remove stress, fear, confusion, and pain. As one grows in awareness and desires to connect with the consciousness intelligence of each body's blueprint plan, one is able to make frequency alterations that impact how that body and its energies function. This is also a direct function and design of the Hieroscamo system, the HDS template, building new plans for the self, humanity, and the planet. As the bodies and their energies function in a more connective and cohesive manner, they begin to integrate and reconnect the intelligent energies communicating between each other. That reconnection to intelligent energies includes the ability of the physical body to communicate between the soul, the monad, which is also known as the oversoul, and the Christos avatar. The Christos avatar changes the energy architecture or plan to reflect Trinitized forms, which override all previous intermediaries that have acted vampiric towards that being. This is in order to directly exchange with the eternal source light. Eventually, when stabilized, This purges the shadow selves, and this higher inner communication changes all of the external communication in one's personal relationships. One goes beyond karmic entanglements of shadow manipulation, relationship confusion, and expands to a new ability in order to experience and enjoy truly loving, balanced, and healthy relationships. This is a direct result of one's spiritual ascension progress, which results in inner spiritual marriage. All behavior is related to spiritual stages of development. The process of spiritual reconnection integrates the energetic balance between each of the bodies, and that balance activates increasing levels of higher spiritual intelligence. Thus, developing higher consciousness intelligence manifests higher form and higher function throughout all levels of our being. This level of higher consciousness is free from manipulated mind control, which superimposes directly to the nervous system to influence thoughts and behaviors. This free consciousness is a natural state enjoyed on other planets by advanced races that are not imprisoned by artificial frequency fences such as on planet Earth. Higher form and function is a natural byproduct of increasing intelligence that operates in alignment to the organic evolution that exists as a part of the energetic flow of nature. Some examples of higher functions are cellular telepathy, 
transmutation, bilocation, and communication with all of nature and her creatures. This alignment to the natural flow creates harmony between all of its bodily parts and then functions as a part of an integrated whole. When functioning as an integrated energetic whole, deviant behaviors, such as the addictive patterns that create disease, such as cancer, are eradicated. This is true at both the microcosmic levels, which is the personal level, and the macrocosmic level, which is the global or group level. Recognizing deviant behavior as soul disconnection. Conversely, the more fragmented and damaged a person's energetic body is operating or not operating at all, the more distorted the thoughts and the more distorted the behaviors become. These deviations are manifested as addictions, perversions, and a wide array of damaging disorders that can be well observed in the individual as destructive to the self and destructive to others. When one is continually destructive to the self or to others, eventually the soul layers fragment and split. When a human being is soul split, they will exhibit tendencies that are called schizophrenia, dissociative personality, sociopathy, which is a lack of empathy, and an array of psychological distortions that lead to insanity. Insanity is a description of the existence of hell realms and is how to easily recognize possession through satanic or anti-life behaviors that are controlled by the possessing entity. The possessing entity can also be hijacking the negative alien body also. The alien body's hive mind is controlled by the satanic spirit, who is trolling for bodies to experience certain realities. Entities, both human and non-human, that possess others' bodies are referred to as satanic or anti-life forces, as no other type of light being will choose to possess the body and control the free will of another being. A Christos, which is a life force being, never will take over another's body, nor attempt to control any person to propagate a destructive act. However, the Christos being is the only being that can deliver any entity from its satanic bondage back into the heart of the universal source creator, if it is so divinely orchestrated. Insanity is a diseased mind, or a diseased and disconnected soul, which leads the being to choose to continually inflict destruction and harm to the self and others. If continual destructive abusive behavior is not stopped, it will damage the soul through fragmentation and genetic degradation. Insanity is a way to define behaviors which create soul destruction, that action which ultimately disconnect the body and mind from the soul. When a being is soul disconnected, they experience an unquenchable thirst of desire, black depression, and pain and suffering at great levels. Satanic or anti-life behaviors in humans and non-humans are a result of being soul disconnected, of which, as a result, they consume and exist on other people's soul and other people's vital energies. With this clarity, 
There is nothing to fear about deviant behavior when it is understood that these entities are completely disconnected from the eternal soul. Hence, their extreme hatred is generated towards people that are fully ensouled or at spiritual stages leading towards the Christos embodiment. The eternal soul of Christ is the only way the bondage of servitude to dark forces is permanently removed. It is for this reason all representations of Christ on earth have been aggressively distorted to grotesque mutations by the controllers. This has no bearing on what the actual truth is as the law is to be revealed in the eternal light. Correction through eternal soul reconnection. Corrections of extremely harmful deviant behaviors that are rampant in today's global society, such as pedophilia, substance addiction, bloodless cravings towards murder, torturing other humans and animals for amusement or monetary gain, hearing tormented voices that are mistaken as acts of God, which are also known as possession. All of these distortions can be solved at the energy blueprint level of the individual human being's aura. All of these deviant behaviors at their core causation are a result of soul disconnection or soul damage which has resulted in entity possession. Some people may believe that most of these behaviors are karmically aligned in their nature. However, this is largely stemming from ignorance promoted in the hijack of the New Age belief systems. If we believe that these conditions are just penance or karmic in nature, most humans will not question the reasons why it's happening and allow it to continue. It's a belief system used to keep the sheep inside the pen and to not question its authority as it's made from the dark master. Severe soul damage, enslavement through fragmentation with genetic biological destruction of an entire species is not a God-ordained energetic rebalancing of karmic power abuses or cause and effect from other lifetimes. However, in order to permanently heal these deviant behaviors rampant in global society at the individual level experience, which is the microcosmic blueprint, they also must be corrected at the planetary level of experience, which is the macrocosmic blueprint. Calling out the dark force where it hides. When we recognize that these negative behaviors are not normal and should be identified as physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually destructive to the entire human race, this is the beginning of the real global awakening that can take place. The change starts within us. It is up to us to create the new normal as we learn to choose healthy and life-affirming behaviors. If we cannot recognize deviant, unnatural, alien mind control behaviors that we have been told are the normal tragedies to accept, we are destined to allow the insanity to repeat the same destructive patterns over and over. We cannot free ourselves from something or someone that we cannot see, recognize, or identify. We must call out these dark forces where they hide or they remain cloaked in shadows of deception. We cannot heal these issues until we source them 
recognize them as deviant behaviors, and then join together as a peaceful race to vanquish them, a race devoted to life-affirming values that are committed to end this sociopathic insanity from imposing its will upon our children and enslaving the peoples of this earth. Even though it's ugly, together we have to see it before we can begin to heal it from continuing to wield its destruction upon the human race. The Trinitized form is the merging of spiritual body triads. Spiritual ascension is the expansion related to the embodiment of specific spiritual energetic triad bodies, which contain intelligence. These levels of intelligence are created as an energetic consciousness body that are organized in trinities or triads. These triads of spiritual energetic intelligence hold dimensional frequencies which connect to the time and space of that particular plane of existence. When all aspects of the individual triad of intelligence are working and communicating together as an integrated whole, this is called a trinitized form. Commonly, we refer to the soul triad as organized between three distinct dimensional planes of time and space. This is described as the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, and the sixth dimension together. There are distinct stages of spiritual body development in relationship to the energetic merging of these polarity of forces that directly impact our gender centers. The integration of these forces is that which result in the integration between the masculine and feminine counterparts that exist within each of the spiritual body triads. Currently, the blueprint restoration of the Trinity architecture that is necessary to unite spiritual marriage at all three evolving levels is being supported in the planetary logos or planetary brain. This changes the nature of all gender-based relationships to be brought into energetic reconciliation. All of these spiritual marriage stages of development may be held by an extension, a twin, or genetic equal incarnated or existing in another dimension. More humans will attract relationships from these future timelines noted as stages that are designed as levels of spiritual marriage to support the integration of gender polarities and to end past timeline karmic patterns. With spiritual relationship awareness at certain stages, couples can travel through the spiritual marriage developments together consciously. Each gender may have a timeline or stage that is the perfect complement required for their gender opposite partner and their polarity integration. These are briefly described as a guideline for the following spiritual stages of development. Level 1 triad of spiritual marriage. Stage 1, the alchemical union. The keynotes for the alchemical union are the two-dimensional to fourth-dimensional astral relationship, resolving ancestral miasma, sexual amplification, karmic issues, past timeline memories, phantom matrices, false ascension matrix, black magician trauma or astral dark arts training, negative forms or clones, 
Egyptian trauma, Lemurian trauma, inner child trauma, telepathic, victim victimizer for healing, has a high risk for dark manipulation and tricksters, and acts as the catalyzer for spiritual ascension and awakening. Stage 2 is the soulmate, a fifth dimensional marriage, future earth lines, Pleiadian influence, fifth dimensional ascension memories, the Mayan calendar influences, shamanic studies, the false umbilicus reset, soul extension shared identities, resolving ego archetypes in identity, the study of archetypes and patterns such as tarot, numerology, or astrology, and all of the alchemical union influencers. Stage three is the twin soul, the six-dimensional spiritual marriage. This has Syrian and Indigo Blu-ray influence, Jesus and Magdalene influence, other planet or future memories, soul extension shared identities, geometric shapes or crystal modalities, and all of the alchemical union influencers. When the level one triad is integrated, the whole triad at the fourth dimension, fifth dimension, and sixth dimensional soul matrix merge to the next level to evolve to the rod and staff union. This is the level two triad, referred to as the sacred union or rod and staff union. Stage one is the karmic monad. This includes seventh dimensional spiritual marriage, Arcturian influences, inner Christ crucifixion memories, monadic extension identities, ascended masters, extraterrestrial histories and memories, monadic dark arts training, which is the galactic training, memories from the Cathars, the human family of origin genetic clearing, planetary grid work and awareness of stargates, as well as clearing planetary level miasma. The stage two is reversal monads. This is an eighth dimensional rod and staff union. Orion and Lyran influences, Nephilim and Atlantean overlays, Lord Michael overlays, patriarchal king reversals or matriarchal queen reversal healings, reverse electrons, which is metatronic reversal, genetic hybrid and extraterrestrial healing, etheric surgery, the NRG architecture or the sexual misery program dismantling, black heart re-encryption to the diamond heart, a memory of Orion Wars, solar cross, alien implants, galactic miasma, and all of the previous level 2 triad influencers. Stage 3 is the monadic twin. This is a ninth dimensional spiritual marriage of Andromedan influence, Aquarion influence, the genetic equal, the rod and staff union, the ability to connect to galactic stargates, and includes all of the potential previous influencers. When level 2 triad of rod and staff union is integrated, the whole monad triad of 7th dimensional, 8th dimensional, and 9th dimensional oversoul or monad matrix merges to evolve to the Hyros Gamos. The level 3 triad Hyros Gamos Union. Stage 1 is the Solar Egg. This is a 10th dimensional Hyros Gamos Union of the monadic twin or genetic equals which integrate solar illuminated light. Stage 2 is the Buddhic Egg. This is 11th dimensional Hyros Gamos Union. The monadic twin or genetic equals integrate lunar 
reflected light. The stage three and final stage is the cosmic egg, the Christos embodied, the Hieros Gamos union. This is a 12th dimensional union of monadic twin or genetic equal synthesizes the solar light and lunar light, which when integrated embodies as the cosmic Christos avatar of liquid aurora light. Together, this union shares one merged diamond body and one crown chakra. Synchronicity in Gender Reconciliation When undergoing the alchemical process of energetic synthesis, the polarities, or male and female principles, will amplify in extremes as they appear in manifested forms. Many times this will be played out unconsciously by human beings through their gender roles, as gender has a manifested and energetic polarity. However, if we can face these polarity extremes with conscious participation and quiet awareness, we will be transparent to the chaos generated from the extreme amplification between these forces. This is especially potent when observing gender reconciliation of polarity extremes as it is transpiring on the planet today. Being the compassionate witness reconciles the opposing forces into the neutral point which, when holding neutral, is the point of power that will resolve extremes into an aligned synchronicity. Synchronicity alignment is that state which is egoless, yet aligned and aware to the natural flow of events that naturally self-organize. Through the paying attention to the now moment, one becomes aligned to the synchronicity of the natural flow of events. When choosing to be present to the synchronic alignments in your everyday life, these circumstances and people will reorganize to the most coherent resonant pattern. This is so much more effective and effortless in the expansion of life force to bring about the most mutually beneficial outcome for all parties that is possible. This synchronistic arrangement is sourced from the spiritual energetic intelligence and is not stemming from the mental body or ego intelligence. The ability to have this awareness will become more important as we observe extreme conflicts between the genders which surfaces in our personal relationships which are designed ultimately for spiritual marriage. The Evolution Blueprint The successful future of humanity's development to progress as an intelligent species is completely interdependent on the scientific comprehension that biological spiritual ascension is the basis of all quantum mechanics that organize the energetic momentum of an evolving holographic reality. The energetic momentum through time and space fields is based on a biological expanding evolutionary blueprint, which is part and parcel of the spiritual energetic development of a planet and its races. Everything in matter form manifested contains layers of architecture and energetic blueprint which are called morphogenetic fields without exception. This would mean that the nature of energetic intelligence such as defined as the soul intelligence 
would be proven as a scientific reality, as well as a consciousness energetic reality. To understand that the energetic intelligence inherent in all things, seen and unseen, whether animate or inanimate, is to begin to comprehend the vast nature of consciousness. We include some affirmations to seal your gender clearing process and balancing as a single or as a couple. I accept the male and female within me. I am perfect balance. I am in sacred marriage. My partner and I serve God's plan together and share our love with the world. Until next, stay in the luminosity of your avatar heart path and please be kind to yourself and each other. Until next month, much love to all. Thank you.